part of my reason for being here is also to figure out how much of a taste for a revolution there is in the room. I am from a country where a populist leader is leading, which is endangering uh, the future of European Union. So I'm very happy to speak to other European colleagues. We actually have people who are openly challenging our way of life in Europe, but also the way we've cooperated internationally. Within this room is a body of people who have a sincere, profound sense of the value of Europe together making progress. The amount of people who get exposed to the really crazy stuff is a lot higher because people are seeking out these spaces where you know, they, they, they feel that this majority opinion is not uh, pushed upon. Essentially, at the moment, the assignment um, is to put ourselves into the shoes of those people who really reject this European approach. There is cultural unease. With the speed of cultural change by way of refugee situation and migration. The anger. Angst is about the, that we are not able to handle this, right? We are discussing what people are afraid of in Europe today and because we believe that insecurity is a basic phenomenon and we try to understand uh, what are the sources of insecurity, what are the sources and reasons that people are so worried and uh, actually this is difficult to figure out. I'd like you now just to reflect for a moment on that exercise and that conversation. All of us have a temptation to listen to our own voice and those who agree with us, but not those who appear to be other. And it's only by actually understanding that the other actually often has very valid concerns that we begin to think of strategies for how we can have a better conversation about taking things forward. And I think we need a way of policy making that kind of recognizes that fear and, and deals with it rather than trying to offer more and more logical arguments. Really we at Stiftung Mercata try to identify the key groups that are uh, important to be in one room in order to get Europe beyond crisis together. There are think tanks, there are researchers, there are also people who are trying out initiatives on the ground. So what we want to do is to harness all their ideas and grow new initiatives. You are offering new narratives to help them see the issue of refugees in a different light. So who's right? Well, we're both right because these people don't have a single view, they have mixed views. Um, it's aimed specifically at this part of the population that is concerned but um, not completely um, racist. So what we're, um, what we're speaking about is how could we find ways of um, nudging them you know, somewhat in the right um, direction. So I think it's, is there something that there's, there's an energy, a desire in this room to just nurdle forwards? That's what we're looking for. We're discussing a lot about analysis of the problems. We've done that for too long, and here we're actually also thinking about solutions, and I think that's really crucial. We need new narratives, and I think that day to day helped me and my colleagues uh, to get closer to this no new and very positive narrative. Right. If you can make it, you place to the right. Okay. Jolly good. Thank you.